everybody. I definitely want to give out another tip today. It's not going to ever be a tip of the day, every day. But as I run into things that are either a good deal or a good tip or an easy way to do something, I'm definitely going to want to share them with you on here. So this one is about multi-blade shredder scissors, which people are buying. And I did want to pay big bucks and um, I got tired of waiting for a coupon. So I bought these. Multi-blade shredded scissors, shredder scissors. Um, yeah, pretty basic. I got them from a company off of Amazon. That is called HDIS. That's the company from Amazon for $6.35. And the reason why I'm sharing this deal is because I think this is a good price. It was totally free shipping. You didn't need a high priced order to get that. And, um, and it was fast. So those are the pros. The cons, which as far as I'm concerned, if you're buying a product, aren't as big of a deal. But if you're fussy about this, the box came a little bit crumpled. It had a little hole in the top. It was quite filthy. I had to use a baby wipe to like wipe it off before I even opened it because it was just full of dirt. Like it had been maybe sitting in a warehouse. That'd be my guess. So that's about it. Free shipping, $6.35. Super fast shipping from HDIS on Amazon. I'm going to give you a little look, see at how well this cuts. It cuts beautifully. Uh, this paper is just plain old printer paper. And I noticed that the more I use it, the more there was a lot of oil for these blades on both sides. And I've wiped some of it off, and I noticed the more that I use it, the easier it is becoming. So let me grab... Um, I was just going to do this piece of paper, but I think I'm going to do a piece of cardstock and show you how I can cut that as well. So here's a, a plain piece of cardstock. Of course, it's a little bit tougher to cut. So if you're super sensitive with arthritis, you might want to go for a more expensive brand that cuts super simple. But for me, it's totally easy. It's a nice crisp cut. It looks great. I also pulled out one more sheet. So we've got printer paper cardstock. And this is... um. A really heavy, it's not quite what you call, I don't know, it's not like as thick as a cereal box or anything like that, but it's much thicker than a piece of cardstock. This one is pretty tough to get through. I'm actually holding both hands together and I can't get all the way to the end. Yeah, maybe that far. But again, really nice cuts. I want to use this for quilling, so that's another really good idea. Besides, you know, shredding your papers for business or private things that you just want to toss away. Making grass, that's another thing you can do with this. Hula skirts, all kinds of fun stuff for your crafty stuff. So there you go, that's my, my tip of the day. I think this is tip number two. Maybe I should start keeping track of that. Tip number two. Hope y'all come back. I'll do some more later. Bye-bye.